Good evening, everyone. This is January 2021, Unit 2 of IEL Chemistry. I will discuss MCQs in this session, and the next session I will discuss the structure questions. The energy profile diagram for a reaction is shown. What is the minimum energy? For, so minimum possible energy at which the reaction start we call activation and that is from reactant till the point where the reaction started so a is the right answer that's x which of these isomers with the formula c8h18 has the lowest boiling point so to have the lowest boiling point it should have the maximum or greater number of branches because as the number of the branches increase the boiling point will decrease so as we can see from these structures this is having one bra two branches one branch and this one is having three branches so c is a right answer and d is unbranched question three which of these pure substances hydrogen bond hydrogen bond is formed when hydrogen bonded with the most electronegative elements such as fluorine oxygen or nitrogen so here the bond is not between nitrogen and hydrogen so no hydrogen bond in this example also no hydrogen bond hydrogen sulfide also no hydrogen bond so we are left with only option c which is hydrogen chloride hydrogen i bonds in water molecule forming h3o ions and h3o ion what is a what shape of HOH bond angle predict an electron pair repulsion theory? So, first, if you have a water molecule, a water molecule, there are two bond pairs and two lone pairs. But when it forms hydroxonium ion, there is a dative bond here. Hydrogen is attracted. So, now it turned out to be three bond pair and one lone pair. When three bond pairs are there and one lone pair, then it will be trigonal pyramidal with a bond angle of 100 and Seven degrees. The viscosity of four liquid organic compounds are compared by placing a liquid in separate identical tube with uh, an air bubble at the top. The tubes are inverted many times. At times, measure the air bubble travel. Which of the following compound does the air bubble takes the longest time? So because the air bubble has to go through and break the attraction or overcome the attraction between the molecule to flow out. So you have to check the type of a bonding. This will have hydrogen bond. This will also have hydrogen bond and hydrogen. This will have dipole, dipole force, a permanent dipole. But hydrogen bond is much stronger and this is having 3 OH. So its hydrogen bond will be stronger compared to others that's why it will the bubble tea will take the longest time for passing through c this question is about reaction of potassium iodide with concentrated sulfuric acid which of these not be seen misty fumes that is because when hydrogen iodide is formed misty fumes will be there black solid that's iodine uh, is there that's the black solid The yellow solid sulfur is there, but the dense white smoke that is produced when like ammonium iodide is formed. But here it's not ammonia solution is nearby. So there is no ammonium iodide. That's why there is no dense white smoke. One of the rea reaction product is hydrogen sulfide, which is a rotten X smell. What is the change in oxidation number of sulfur? So in sulfuric acid, H2SO4, each oxygen minus two. So four oxygen minus eight sulfur will be hydrogen is plus one each two hydrogen will be plus two and sulfur should be plus six so sulfur plus six and in hydrogen sulfide this will be plus two so that is minus two so sulfur plus six changes to minus two so what is the change in oxidation number it decreased by eight like in on a number line plus six changes to minus two so how many it decreased it decreased by eight numbers Iodate 5 ion oxi oxidize and the equation is given what are the balancing numbers 
the balance in number the because the total number of the ion should be same on both sides so if i select a is an answer so this if this was 2 this is 1 and this is 2 so total number of charge on the left hand side minus 2 and my this is minus 2 into 1 so total charge is minus 4 and here minus 4 and plus 8 so the total charge will be plus 2 on the right so this is not the right answer because it should be balanced both side but if i select 2 5 and 10 so if this is 2 this is 5 and this one is 10 so minus 2 and minus 10 because 2 multiplied by 5 so this will be minus 12 and this is minus 20 and plus 8 so that is also minus 12 so both side we have minus 12 that's why d is a right answer the total charge on the left hand side should be equal to total charge on the right hand side which statement about this reaction is correct so magnesium is zero become plus 2 hydrogen is plus 1 changes to zero so hydrogen is reduced or it is acting like an oxidizing agent and magnesium is oxidized it is acting like a reducing agent that's why c is the right state which of these compounds does not produce a color in a flame and produce an alkaline gas So the only substance which produces alkaline gas when heated with sodium hydroxide is ammonium salt. That's why C is the right answer. Even magnesium, there is no flame color because it's not in a visible range, but it does not gives alkaline gas. Which of these increase as group seven descends? So as we go down, oxidizing ability of molecular halogen like we have fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine so as we go down they become oxidizing ability decreases reducing ability of halide ion like if we have fluoride ion chloride ion uh, bromide ion and iodide as we discussed in the uh, mc one of the mcqs when it was reacting with sulfuric acid So when it react with iodide ion, it reduces to lower oxidation number. So it is strong reducing agent. So that's why B is the right answer. Electrostatic attraction between nucleus and outer shell electron decreases as the size is increasing, and electronegativity because the electrons are far away from the nucleus, so electronegativity also decreases. The table shows amount of energy released per gram. when some of these substances are burned which of which alkane has a standard enthalpy change of combustion so this is kilojoule kilojoule per gram so if what we'll do we'll convert this gram into mole divided by molar mass so when we divide by molar mass basically it should be multiplied by molar mass so we will multiply each of them by its molar mass so first one methane carbon one carbon four so it will be multiplied by 16 the second one ethane is there that is uh, 30 propane is there uh, multiplied by 44 and butane is there c4 and h10 so it is 48 and then 58 it is multiplied by 58 so when you multiply the highest answer that's minus 2875 will come out for butane the enthalpy change of two reactions are shown which or what is the enthalpy change of dissociation of ethanoic acid into ethanoic ion and hydrogen ion in kilojoule per mole so two equations are given what we can do we can solve them as a simultaneous equation so when we solve that as a simultaneous equation we will subtract the two equations the signs will change this will be minus 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 and plus so this will cancel the 
because we are subtracting the two equations so when we solve the overall equation after writing this because this one is negative so hydrogen ion is there this is minus ch3co it will move to other side this will move so it will be ch3co and this will be h water will cancel with water and this move other side that's ch3coh and overall answer for this change that is minus 1.2 but we want dissociation so we want it for opposite so for opposite if this one is minus 1.2 so opposite it will be plus 1.2 Two kilojoule per mole. So B will be the right answer. What is the skeletal formula of two chloro four four dimethyl hexane? So we have to check these structures. We need second position. We need chlorine as a branch. So one, two, chlorine is a branch. Three, four. Then fifth position we have these methyl groups. Two methyl groups. But when you check one, two, three, fourth position, we have two branches, and second position we have chlorine. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that will be hexane. That's why B is the right answer. Some alcohols react with concentrated phosphoric acid to form alkene. So alkene is formed by this is elimination reaction. Why? Because when H and water is removed or substance is removed, a new product is formed. It's called elimination. Then the structure of two methyl pentane three all is shown. This alcohol react with phosphoric acid. How many alkenes can form? So possibility is there that OH is removed from here and H is removed from this one. So if this was a case, so there will be a double bond. And if there is a double bond, it can be cis polymer or a trans. And so these are two possibilities. Then, if this hydro OH is removed and H is removed from here, on the right hand side, so the double bond will be here. But this cannot this can be not be geometrical isomer because identical branches are attached, identical groups are attached. So this cannot be geometrical. Only alkene will be there, so the possibility is three, because the other one was cis cross, and then on the right hand side only one isomer is possible, so total will be three. Magnesium nitrate decomposes on heating. What is the total volume of a gas formed at room temperature? When point zero point zero zero five moles, so total moles of a the ratio between moles and gas because nitrogen monoxide and oxygen both are gases. So the ratio between molecule is to gas, one, two is to five. So if we have zero point zero zero five moles, so this will be x. So zero point zero zero five multiplied by five divided by two. That will be zero point zero one two five. These are the moles of the gas. Then multiply by molar volume, which is twenty-four thousand. So we'll get three hundred cm cube, or B will be the right answer. How many moles are there in fifteen cm cube of liquid? So. The volume is given, and the density. We know density is mass over volume, so mass is equal to density into volume. And then, after getting the mass divided by molar mass, so density is zero point eight multiplied by volume is fifteen point one, and the molar mass is sixty, because moles equal mass in gram divided by molar mass. So question sixteen A will be the Right answer. Oxidation of propane one all by acidified potassium dichromate, which yield thirty six percent by mass. What mass of propane one all to form thirty seven point gram of propanoic acid? So that is a practical value is given. 
So percentage yield is it is equal to the practical value divided by theoretical value into 100. So percentage yield is 36 percent. Practically, we are getting 37. Theoretically, we don't know into 100. So theoretical value will be 37 multiplied by 100. So this 100 divided by 36. 37 multiplied by 100 divided by 36 that is equals to the theoretically we should get 102.7 grams of the product the propanoic acid and the ratio of the mass 74 propanol or propane 1 all to propanoic acid the ratio of the mass is 60 to 74. If we are getting propanoic acid as 102.7, so this will be X. So 102.7 multiplied by 60 divided by 74. So we should get 83.3 grams or we should have 83.3 grams of propan. One all. Question 18, barium uh, chloride BACL2 react with gallium sulfate to form a precipitate BSO4. What is the minimum volume of, uh, what is the minimum volume of 0.1 mole per dm3 barium chloride needed to precipitate all the sulfate ion in 200 cm3? Of 0.05 mole per dm3. So we have to check because the ratio, if we have BACL2 and gallium sulfate. So when it reacts, the simplest ratio, we should have three moles of barium chloride so that it will form three moles of barium sulfate. So the ratio is one is two, the three is to one. Uh, volume and concentration is there, you will get the moles. So 200 divided by 1000. So that is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 and the concentration is there. So moles equal concentration into volume. Concentration is 0 0.05 multiplied by 0 0.2. That is 0 0.01. So we have 0 0.01 moles. Ratio mole ratio is 3 to 1. So 0 .00, 0 .00, 0 0.01 moles. So this will be x cross multiply. So we should get 0 0.03 moles of, or we should have 0 0.03 moles of barium chloride. We have the moles in concentration. So we need a volume. Concentration is moles by volume. So volume is moles divided by concentration. So 0 0.03. The moles and the concentration is 0 0.1, 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.1, that's equal to 0.3 decimeter cube. And we convert into cm cube because all answers in cm cube will multiply by 1000, so that will come out 30 centimeter cube. So this was unit 2 of IAL January 2021. 20, the next session I will discuss structure questions.